Hello, my name is Sébastien Moreau and I will focus today on alchemy. Alchemy is literally an attempt to make gold or silver from vile metals such as lead or copper. However, it quickly turned into a much more complex and rich field of knowledge and became a way of understanding the world and acting upon it. Alchemy was born in ancient Greece and the first hints of it date back to the Hellenistic period. It may even be older and come from Egypt, but no evidence of this has been found. In the Orient, alchemy as I have just described it is especially present in the Arab Muslim medieval world and this is what I will focus on now. According to legend, Alchemy came to the Arab Muslim world thanks to the fourth Umayyad Caliph Khalid ibn Yazid, who lived in the 7th century CE and who is considered the first Arabic alchemist. He is said to have received the teaching from a Greek monk named Marianus. However, the historical truth of this event cannot be proved. While alchemy may well have reached the Arabic world very early, it is above all through the movement of translation from Greek or Syriac into Arabic during the 8th and 9th centuries CE that the Arab Muslim world discovered this science. The Arab Muslim thinkers assimilated Greek alchemy very quickly and raised it to a high level of scientific and philosophical knowledge. Eastern influences may also have introduced several concepts and doctrines to the field especially the more technical parts. However, we do not have any firm historical evidence, only slight traces such as the vocabulary of alchemy. Indeed, many technical alchemical words are transcription from Persian or from Greek and Syriac. In the middle of the 10th century CE, alchemy came to Al-Andalus, the Iberian Peninsula, which was under Arab Muslim domination. During the 12th and 13th century CE, a wide movement of translation from Arabic into Latin took place in Spain and Italy. It was at that time that alchemy was transmitted to the Latin world. The word alchemy derives through Latin from the Arabic alchimia, which is itself most probably taken from the Greek humeia, or chemeia, meaning fusion or alloy. Also possible, though less likely, is that the word derives from the Egyptian kemit, which signifies resin or gum. The history of the word alchemy reflects the history of alchemy itself. Contrary to what is usually assumed, the concept of alchemy as we find it in alchemical treatises does not arise from a quest for profit, but from a quest for incorruptibility. Now, let's talk, talk a little about physics and chemistry. It is often thought that alchemists were trying to make gold or silver because these were the most precious metals of that time. But the reason was actually different and relates to the properties of these metals. Six or seven materials, depending on the classification, were known as metals to ancient and medieval alchemists. Copper, lead, tin, iron, silver and gold, a list to which mercury is sometimes added. We'll leave mercury out of the classification for now. Of these metals, gold and silver are special. Gold is unalterable, it never corrodes. Well, in modern terms, it hardly corrodes at all. While silver corrodes slowly at room temperature, the thin layer which appears after a long period of time, or, where, or when you put simply sulfur on it, but it hardly corrodes when melted. They are therefore the two noblest metals, since the four other corrode easily. This simple fact is the basis of alchemy. Alchemists are actually trying to make corruptible things incorruptible. They are trying to perfect metals, to create the perfection of the mineral world. As you can imagine, 
Transposing this principle from the mineral world to the animal world is a step that the alchemists quickly took. The idea of using alchemy in order to heal men already appeared in Arabic alchemy. Furthermore, in the Latin world, Roger Bacon proposed the idea of an alchemical compound which could bring health to men and keep him alive for as long as God allows it. The idea of the elixir of long life was born, but it is not found literally in the medieval Arabic alchemical texts.